I've already done a tutorial for this a few months ago on my second channel, but today I'm going to do it with a slight difference. Today what I'm going to be doing is adding glitter to the stone powder instead of rhinestones. Last time I used rhinestones, which you can still do, but I'm going to be adding some glitter just so that that way when you turn it, you're going to see a slight twinkle. It's not going to show up as much on the camera as it does with your actual eyes, but it's a little trick that you can use that does make it look a little bit cooler. I've already picked out the shells that I wanted and cleaned them. So once I've mixed water with the stone powder, I'm going to start applying it to the jar that I want to use use and what you want to do is apply a layer and then press the shells in and what you need to do especially when you're mixing the stone powder is don't let it get too runny if it gets too runny while you're applying this it's just going to slide straight off the glass so you need to wait till it's quite a thick gloopy consistency and then do it chunk by chunk and then add the shells as quickly as possible once it's dry I'm just going to start cleaning up the edges especially the bottom as well and you can use a nail file or your fingers just to make sure that the edges are really smooth now after I've done that I'm going to be spray painting it with a clear varnish. One more trick you can do as well is start taking some glitter and then applying it in very thin veins so you're still going to get that glitter showing through on the stone powder which you've already applied but then if you apply thicker layers it's going to look a little bit like a glitter fingerprint on the clay instead. But other than that you're done. <laughs> 